Hi lovelies, welcome back to another review. It's Thursday and guess who got her voice back? Yes, your girl finally gets to do voiceovers again for you guys and I am so excited because I missed you guys so much. So today my review is on the Smart Nail Lamp 2.0 from Sun UV and this is their Sun 4. So on this side of the box we do have our specs, voltage, you know, wattage and all that good stuff. I'm making my way around you guys can see it's a two-in-one LED UV nail light and on the other side it just has some of the features so you guys can go ahead and pause the video at any time if you see anything that interests you so I'm going to do a really quick unboxing because I have not had time to test this light out in the salon environment as I love to do for you guys so let's go ahead and see what comes inside so right on top of the box we have two booklets I believe well this one is your product manual and it is a very thick book and the reason for that is after going through it I realized that it is in a variety of different languages which I found was so thoughtful this on the other hand I wasn't sure what it was so I went ahead and like opened up the entire thing only to realize that it is just a guideline on how to apply your gel polish also in a variety of different languages and of course we have our light so i'm just going to take that out of the box and set it aside and it does come in this protective baggy i don't know what material that is and oh my gosh it is like matte white and so smooth and sexy looking <laughs> okay so stuffed inside we do have our power cord so basically that's all it comes with and it is a us plug if you guys have seen a million of my reviews you already know that's the plug that i use so i'm going to go ahead and just set this aside for now i'm not going to plug it in just yet so we are going to go ahead and look at the exterior of our lamp and i just can't stop feeling on it because that matte white is just so stunning so on top we have the sun 4 and then you have the sun uv logo also your display screen and the size of this thing is so adorable like I'm loving it so it's a very wide mouth and as you guys can see the lights are positioned very nicely all the way from front to back on the inside of this light which I absolutely love love so below the light it does come with these four little slip resistant knobs and at the back of it is where my power cord is going to be plugged in now as for our timer settings we have four we have 10 seconds 30 seconds 60 seconds and our low heat mode of 99 seconds and it says double power so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to plug this in really quickly so immediately after plugging this light in it goes straight to the 99 seconds low heat mode so in order to preset my timer i do have to hold down my timer settings just for like about two seconds and it will come up on my display screen the lights on the inside actually automatically light up as well but you can go ahead and press the button once again the lights are going to come off and with that done you can go ahead and insert your hand into the light and the sensors are automatically going to start working with that preset time change it back to the 99 seconds low heat mode if you hold that button down for two seconds it is not going to change you just want to press it one time and it will automatically start counting down well counting up in this case from 1 to 99 and if you press the button again the lights are going to come off and this is where the sensors come in again so you can insert your hand and it will start counting upward from 1 to 99 so here I'm going to show you guys the inside of the light as it's on and what it looks like. As you guys can see inside there is really nice and lit and you have a sensor on the left and one on the right. Fairly close to the front of the light and the opening of the lamp is really nice and wide so that you don't end up having any mistakes or any problems when you insert your hand. Now if your nails are long enough you can hold the sensor with your thumb or you can just go ahead and press that button and the lights are going to come on regardless. So 
so I am going to be testing this light out on my mother-in-law's nails because she just needed a gel polish application so it's not going to be anything fancy or anything like that it's just me putting this light to the test and why I say that is I wanted to see how the black on the inside would affect darker shades of gel polish so I chose to use the Madame Glam Deep Emerald and it is my darkest color up from black so we are going to try that out and see how it reacts if it works if it cures without any issues so i'm starting off with my madam glam's base gel and i'm just applying this to her natural nails and i did it on all five fingers and i'm going to insert her hand into the light and i'm going to cure that for 30 seconds making sure to remove any gel polish i would have gotten on her skin before inserting her hand into the light Straight out of my light, I can tell that there is no issues with the curing of the thumb. There was no shrinkage or any peeling or wrinkling or anything like that. So I'm going right in on top of four fingers, thumb included, and I'm going to be applying the deep emerald. And as you guys can see, it is a very dark shade of green, but I am going to be curing this for 60 seconds in between each coat. And the reason why I did 60 seconds is because even with my regular lights that are silver on the inside i do 60 seconds for my darker shades of gel polishes and then when i take her hand out of the light we're going to test this gel to see how well especially the thumbnail cured So now I'm going in with a clean orange wood stick and I'm just going to scrape that thumb and as you guys can see nothing came up at all it was perfectly well cured. So another thing that I do want to mention and I don't know if you guys realize it when I had my hand inserted into the lamp there are like four lines inside of it which is spaced out for you to actually space your hands out once it's inside of the light so you can go ahead and use those guidelines just to make sure that those gels are properly cured all the way through i'm going in with my second coat of the deep emerald which is what you guys are seeing here now and she did want an accent nail so i went in with my vetro gold leaf gel pod and i just did two coats of that as well before going in with my no wipe gel top coat also from madam glam while i'm finishing up my gel polish application i want to talk to you guys about my final thoughts on this light now to be honest with you guys the way how this light sits on my nail desk i really do love the shape and the outside structure that matte white has got me going nuts i am in love with it the way how the lights are positioned on the inside is very thoughtful so that way you have light all the way around the entire light on the inside so it can cure all five fingers at the same time which i love with absolutely no issues another thing that i loved about this light is the amount of space you have to insert your hand and the room on the inside of it it's so spacious the light of itself comes out so that it's not too short when you rest your nails in your wrist is not hanging out of the light so I love that the only thing that was sort of mm, a little bit iffy for me it's not really a big problem but I do like my lights with a detachable base so that makes it easy to clean and sanitize in between clients however I did take a lint free wipe and some alcohol and just lightly wiped that black on the inside. Nothing happened to it. It was perfectly fine. I did try using um, acetone as well with a lint free wipe on the inside and it didn't affect the black in any way because you know usually sometimes plastic and acetone really doesn't mesh well together and it sort of melts plastic or it would leave a white residue on the plastic but this is such a high quality plastic material on the inside of that light I really appreciate that that it didn't affect my light in any way so I am loving this light so much that I am going to duplicate it it is going to be my new set of lights that are going to be on my nail desk so if you guys are interested in purchasing this light 
off of Amazon I would link my Amazon storefront in the description box below it does have a 5% off coupon code attached to it and it is actually one of Amazon's choices for you to purchase so that is it for my review guys I hope it was helpful and informative and if it was go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up share it and if you're not yet subscribed please go ahead and click on that subscribe button and while you're there turn your post notifications on so that you don't miss a beat the next time i upload a new video and yeah i am forgetting one thing so sun uv is willing to give away one of these amazing nail lights so definitely check out the rules on your screen and in my description box below follow them to a T and I will be pinning the winner of this giveaway in the comment section below so that's it for me as always I would love for you guys to keep safe and I'll see you soon